scientific discovery that could help millions of people suffering from neurological disease. Researchers have found a link between chronic fatigue and autism. Karen Todd has more. This discovery changes the way we think of neuroimmune diseases, and researchers at the Whittemore Peterson Institute on the University of Nevada campus say it's a whole new field of medicine. It's the description of a new human pathogen, a new human retrovirus, only the third such human retrovirus known to infect humans and, and, and be associated with disease. The other two retroviruses are HIV and human T-cell leukemia virus 1. Viruses that have been studied for decades. Lead researcher Judy Mikovits and other scientists here at the Institute have found the XMRV retrovirus in 95% of chronic fatigue patients they've studied. But while there are a lot of carriers, not everyone actually ends up with a chronic disease, much like not everyone with HIV has AIDS. Mikovits says it takes a trigger and your body's T and B cells, which are used to fight infection, to spark the virus. In your cells, the virus will actually cut your DNA, insert itself in the DNA, and then um, when the cell divides, and only when the cell divides, it makes a copy of itself and starts dividing again. Mikovits says one possible way to spread the infection is through breast milk. So what you're telling me is mom with CFS mm -hmm. transmits to child the virus. Yeah, maybe breastfeeding. Okay. And then there's some environmental factors. Yeah. Say infection, vaccine, um, that turns up those T and B cells that I just told you the virus divides in. So then if you set the reservoirs and set point high enough and cause the immune dysfunction, then 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 you have disease. It is important to note that this is not a push to say that mothers shouldn't breastfeed and vaccinations shouldn't be given. Now we have the opportunity to test moms, families, people with, with CFS and with, with unexplained um, opportunistic infections and then prevent the spread either through a vaccine, um, stopping breastfeeding early um, such that you don't transmit it through the breast milk. And that was Karen Todd reporting. Now some other diseases that researchers are studying in connection with the XMRV retrovirus include Gulf War syndrome, fibromyalgia, and other neuroimmune disorders.